problem. Uh, right now, I'm actually going to toss it over to my colleague there, Josh, over at the Syracuse DPW. They've been busy the last few days. How's it going over there? Yeah, John, they've been busy today with phone calls. And normally when you hear about phone calls to DVW, you don't always think positive. But today, it's been positive. A big turnaround from what we saw earlier this year. We spoke with DPW officials saying they'd be getting compliments over the phone. But one big problem they're still having as they attempt to do snow removal is those side streets with opposite side parking. They say people aren't obeying the laws there, and it's causing those side streets to take a little longer to get cleaned up. But other than that, this snow removal and this snow and this snow effort from the city of Syracuse has received public approval after the biggest snowfall of the year so far. It's actually been a positive day. We were supposed to be off today. It's a holiday, but we did bring in some people to answer the phones just in case there were those phone calls. And surely there's a couple people have called that, you know, need some help cleaning up their street uh, that we need to take another pass at. Maybe the cars have moved, so we need to come back. But there's been actually some complimentary phone calls as well. So uh, compliments on how expeditious we were and how prepared we were for this storm. City crews are going to continue to work through the night. We've seen a couple different trucks just before we came live here filling up with salt. A reminder, as Christy said earlier, that salt isn't going to have as much of an impact as normally would due to these freezing cold temperatures. Rod and Christy. All right, Josh, come on in now and <laughs> get warm. Well, Chris